Hello guys, welcome back to Medtech Simulations. You might remember the animation of this wine flow I shared recently. It looked realistic, but it's actually a 2D simulation meant for aesthetics, not with more technical stuff. In this video, I'll explain how I made it. First, I needed the shape of this bottle and this wine glass into the simulation. I used a website called Webplot Digitizer to grab the XY coordinates from the pictures. Then I put all these coordinates into the Angel Design Modeler to create a 2D sketch of that picture. Also I have left some space here to have a flow without any disruption because of this outlet. Then I turned the sketch into a surface to have a fluid domain. And in the next step I have created a mesh with a fine size. And after meshing I have entered into the fluid setup. In the fluent setup, I have turned on the gravity and gave the value of minus 9.81 to mimic the real world scenario so that the liquid can flow downward naturally. I used the VOF model to simulate the liquid and air. Here we need to specify the two participating phases. Here it is air and the liquid. And we should also define the surface tension between those two fluids. Then setting of the boundaries was very important. I have made sure that liquid came into the inlet and left through the outlet at atmospheric pressure. For the inlet, I set small mass flow rate that is quite enough to fill the wine glass within 5 seconds. The outlet, by default it is set to 0 gauge pressure. And in the inlet, we have to make sure that we provide the flow rate of liquid, not the air. And once everything was set, I started the simulation. But first, we need to have the initial conditions. That is, after initialization, we need to patch the entire domain with the air. That means that at the zeroth time step, no liquid is inside the domain. Then I ran the simulation for a second broken into 1000 small steps. That means the time step size is 0.001. To keep the thing smooth, that means I don't want to get the solution diverged. And by using the option execute commands, I have saved the images at each time step by using a text user interface. These commands will save the contours of liquid phase each and every time step and this is how I got all the phase contours at each and every time step and I put all those images together to get the animation so that's how I made the simulation if you want to try something similar feel free and let me know if you have any queries you can find all the files and TUA commands in my website mechtechsimulations.com Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.